How y'all doing? It's your boy, Mike B. And right now I'm broadcasting my very first episode of my new motivational series, This Is Real Rap, all right? Right now we broadcasting live from the real world. So anywhere you see me at, that's the real world. We got two house rules. In the real world, we don't wear masks and we don't judge, right? All we do is build. So if you want to build, let's go. If you don't, get off this channel, man. Go back to gossiping on the ground. Anyway, the first episode, we're going to talk about purpose and faith. It's a lot of people out here saying, I don't have a purpose. I don't know my purpose. It's nothing in this world that doesn't have a purpose. The purpose of wheels on the car is to get the car rolling. The purpose of the battery is to start the car. The purpose of the windshield is to keep rain up off you or keep warmth inside the car. You can't think of purpose of food is to give you energy. It's nothing in this universe that doesn't serve any purpose. So what makes you think you don't have a purpose? Now, anytime you talk about purpose and faith in the same sentence, you got to talk about religion. Now, I'm not talking about religion in the scope of I'm Islam, I'm Buddhist, I'm Christian, but I have spirituality. Because either, even an atheist understands spirituality and how the universe and the powers that govern the universe are constantly pulling on us one way or the other, right? So in this series, we're going to take, uh, uh, we're going to use our, our spiritual guide. We're going to call him God. Now, if you don't believe in God, that's okay. You can believe in whatever or whoever, but just to keep everything going, um, we're going to call it God. So what we do, we say, God, can you show me my purpose? So God shows you your purpose in plain view, whether you was eight or whether you was 20, at some point you were shown your purpose. And now you, you say, oh man, thanks God for showing me my purpose. But could you show me a little more? Cause I'm not sure. We all do that. You, you just not sure. So what God does is he puts three things in your way, people, places, and things. That's what he do. He put people, places, and things in direct alignment with your purpose so that you might be sure of exactly what it is you're supposed to be doing. Now it's an aha moment. You say, ah, I get it. Now, thanks God for showing me my purpose. But could you show me a little more? Cause I'm not sure. Now God can come down on a lightning bolt, grab your head and push it directly into the, into the middle of your purpose, right? And say, son, daughter, this is what I want you to do with your life. This is the path I want you to walk. But no sooner as he go back up that lightning bolt, you begin questioning because you lack faith. You lack faith in your purpose. That's why you can't excel in your purpose. See, we've been hardwired to believe that the purpose doesn't, but our purpose is not strong for us. What I mean is, we believe that Steve Harvey was deserving of what happened when he got into his purpose. We believe that Dr. Dre or, 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 or the owner of Microsoft were successful in their purpose because it was supposed to happen to them. We lack the faith to believe that it can happen to us. You have to have the faith. You have to have, you have to have the faith. If you don't believe that it can happen to you, why would it happen? Because if you don't, if you don't have the faith, what's going to make you get up in the morning and hustle? What's going to make you get up in the morning and grind? What's going to make you come face to face with your purpose? Nothing. You'll sit back and watch everybody else live in their purpose, right? So today you got to understand, you got to wake up and make a conscious effort to say, I know what my purpose is. And if I don't know what my purpose is, I need to find out what my purpose is. I need however you need to do that, right? But what happens is you say, man, I can paint really good. But unfortunately, paint ain't paying a lot this month. Football pays a lot more. So you want to be a football player. You will never be a football player because that is not what you were supposed to do. The universe, God did not assign you to be a football player. He designed you to be a painter, but you don't want to paint because it's not making a lot enough money. Or even if you do like painting, you don't believe you could be Picasso. You don't believe you could be Rembrandt because you lack what? The faith. You have, you lack the faith. You got to wake up every morning and believe today is the day, day by day, in every way. I'm getting better and better. Today is going to be the day that I'm going to be successful. Today is going to be the day that I walk in my purpose. Today is going to be the day that I change my destiny forever. This was promised to you when you was born. It was promised to you by your mother. It was promised to you by God that if you did a certain set of things, you would do what? You would live life what? More abundantly. You cannot live life more abundantly if you do not walk into your purpose. I hate to see when people try to jump onto somebody else's purpose just because uh, such and such owns a, a, a successful gym or such and such owns a successful car shop. He's making a ton of money. If that's not your purpose, you're going to always fail. Even down to relationships. If, 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 if this person isn't part of your purpose, it's not going to work. 
You got to have faith that when you led to your purpose, that if you walk right in your purpose and, and not question what it is, you will live life. What more abundantly. These is facts. When I was younger growing up, man, I, I, and you can ask anybody, go back 20 years, go back 30 years, ask anybody who ever knew Mike B. Am I not today what I was in 1985? I challenge you to find any man or woman who would tell you different. They, they won't tell you that because the universe told me then what my purpose was. But I tell y'all now, I couldn't walk in it then because it was hard for me to believe that I would be a mover of men, a leader of any kind, because that sounded arrogant to me. So I couldn't accept that purpose. So I fought it, moved over here, but the universe kept moving me back. So now I, I just come to the realization, this is my purpose. And I got faith that the, it will be delivered. If I do what I'm supposed to do, I'm going to live life. What? More abundantly. So all I'm asking is just everybody out there, if you know your purpose, cool, walk in it every day, live it, breathe it, love it. Do not step away from your purpose for anything. I don't care if you're not making money right now. Have faith that one day you will make money. I don't care if, if, if you hating your purpose, but you still know it's your purpose. Trust me. One day it's going to be revealed why that is indeed your purpose. I just want everybody out there to know that we only going around this world one time. So we got to get it right the first time. So you can't spend your whole life trying to figure out what it is you're supposed to do. You know what you're supposed to do. You know what you're supposed to do. My name is Mike B and this is Real Rap.